and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, February 12th, 2019. Let me read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. It is about quarter to nine on Tuesday morning and the futures look to be getting off to a strong start. So with that, let's get into today's video and see where we are at. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index and for that I use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at things on a five-year monthly time frame. I like that bigger picture look. I really don't have any indicators on my chart except this blue line, which is the 8-day EMA. And these two lines down here, this light uh, blue one, is long-term support resistance. It goes back a very long way. And the purple one is more shorter-term support resistance. You can see that we bounced off of this area when we had that big sell-off in the latter part of 2018. But look where we are right here right now. Now, in my videos lately, I've been talking about this area here possibly being difficult for the market to get through. Um, but so far, so good. The bulls are solidly in control. Um, and it, we're approaching that 8-day EMA on the monthly, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in this area. But I am going to approach everything with a little bit of caution just because of the congestion that we encountered back here in the same area on the chart, and especially since the uh, that was a pretty significant sell-off. So bullish, but a little bit cautiously so. Um, and we'll see what happens in the days and weeks ahead. So that's the five-year monthly look. Let's um, zoom it in to the one-year weekly. And here we are, the one-year weekly. We're up and over that blue eight-day EMA. Um, we had not the strongest candle last week, but we're getting off to a strong start this week. So that's good to see. Now let's go take a look at it on the daily, six-month daily consolidated for a little bit, but we're lifting up and over that eight day. So I will be featuring a chart to take a look at this morning, being as we have that strength in the Russell with price up and over that eight day EMA on both the daily and weekly chart, and perhaps maybe for the month when we get that completed month of February. And the chart that I wanted to flag for you this morning, or I should say reflag, is T, AT&T. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this company. It is um, it, from my dividend aristocrat basket. It's the one of the largest telecommunication companies in North America and has been around for a very long time. You know me at Chart of the Day Cafe. I'm all about the scores underneath my charts, and I can tell you that uh, AT&T has a very nice high value score, along with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 14%. A current P.E. of 8.37, but what I really, really like is a dividend yield of 6.87%. That is a wow dividend. So with that, let's get into the chart. We're looking at the 10-year monthly. As I pointed out in my when I featured this name in December, I like the consolidation here, the, the years that AT&T, now we're looking at the monthly chart, so these are monthly candles. The years that AT&T spent floating below this area of support resistance and then punched through and we're sitting right in that area right here right now. We had a positive month last month and I like this area as in a rising market environment with those scores I would think that AT&T might lift here. Um, not making any recommendations whatsoever, I'm just looking at the chart and saying that is an interesting area for sure. So I'm going to zoom it in to the smaller time frame, take a look at it on a nine-month weekly. We, I originally featured it here, uh, thinking that it would hold this area of support and move up and over the blue. Now this is the weekly chart. Whenever, I, whenever I'm looking at an entry or uh, nailing down uh, position, I always look at it on the daily. But I wanted you to see it on the weekly here, the way it was poised to perhaps take that blue eight-day EMA. But with the sell-off that happened that took pretty much everything with it, it, it fell below. But it's regained this area of support and uh, I think it looks pretty interesting in this area so we'll see. So this is the weekly look. Let me move it away from the weekly to the daily so you can see it on the three month daily. And you know me, I talk about this quite a bit. I like the three and eight. So 
What I look for is a really great chart with really great fundamentals underneath it um, at an area of support and what I like to see is a 3 and 8 cross. So I like to see the pink which is the uh, 3 ENA cross over the blue which is the 8 day ENA. So it looks like uh, AT&T might be poised for that cross. So we'll see. I'm going to be monitoring this in the days to come but I like at t right here in this area now. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're looking at IYZ, 10-year monthly chart. Now, I know I'm going out a long way when I show you the 10-year monthly, but what I want you to see is the way it consolidated, just like at t for many years on this orange line, which was resistance and is now support over here. So it lifted off of that area, but it's coming to retest. It's showing some positive uh, signals with the positive candle last month and with the rollout coming of 5G that might be a catalyst for this whole sector and so then I go over to AT&T and say well with those scores and that dividend it should really benefit should this start to really lift and get some momentum so sideways trending sector but with some growth catalysts underneath it. Along with that, I also like to check a couple of other things, and one of them is seasonality, and for that I go over to equityclock.com, a really excellent site. And we're looking at the seasonal chart for AT&T, and as you can see, it comes into seasonal favor right about this time of year. No guarantee that happens again, but always a good data point to know. As well, I like to check Finviz, which is one of my favorite uh, sites for information, and we're on the AT&T page on Finviz, and what I like to do is scroll down, and see if I've got analyst support for my new watch list pick. So here's the analyst sec section here. You can see that uh, AT&T has had some recent upgrades, always a good thing. And if you scroll even further, you can see articles related to AT&T. So you can check that out as well if you'd like. And so to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell is trading up and over that eight-day EMA on both the daily and weekly charts. It looks positive for today. But we also want to note that we're in an area that may offer some resistance. So when I check that box, I'm checking it very carefully. We also looked at the sector that AT&T is in, IYZ, and we noted that on that 10-year chart, it's trading a little sideways, but at an area of support and may look to be lifting. We looked at the chart for AT&T, same thing, at an area of support and may start to show some uh, price strength, especially with those beautiful scores. These are highlighted because they're absolutely essential to me. It's got a beautiful value score along with a good growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate of 14%, a current dividend yield of 6.87%, um, a PE of 8.37. We looked at uh, the 3 and 8 cross. hasn't crossed yet, but it's getting close. It's got seasonality in its favor and analyst support, and it looks as though their earnings are on April 24th. So with that, I'll leave you. Have a great next couple of days, and uh, the next video goes out on Thursday. Thanks for watching.